Hey, we're back with more beans and greens, and this time I'm sharing a Provencal greens and bean soup. Now this is very traditional, and I think you're gonna love it because it's super easy. So in my pan right now, I have just finished sauteing onion, fennel, and carrot that I've chopped quite finely. And remember, fennel is that beautiful bulb with the long green uh, fronds on it, and you can find it at any grocery store, and I will put a link to how to chop it right below in, in the show notes. But um, I wanted to get this started so this video didn't make you go to sleep. So it's already sauteed. Now I'm gonna put in my garlic. So I've got a substantial amount of garlic here, about six garlic cloves that I have chopped. And oh my gosh, almost immediately when they hit the pan, they smell so, Good. Okay, next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and some red pepper flakes. Again, not to make it spicy, but just to point up all the flavors and a good tablespoon of herbed Provence. And you know, if you don't have herbed Provence, you can always use Italian seasoning. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But the uh, difference between Italian seasoning um, and Herbe de Provence is usually, there's usually some lavender and sometimes some orange peel, but basically the same um, herbs, because remember, they're already all around the Mediterranean. So once that gets fragrant, and it is, it's deliciously fragrant right now, I'm gonna add in two more easy ingredients. One is a 15 ounce can of cannellini beans. There's my white beans. So there's our beans. And then the, ne the next thing we're gonna add in is about six cups of veggie broth. And of course we made our own homemade veggie broth. And with these four recipes for beans and greens, I had such a lot of really yummy ins and pieces to make gorgeous veg stuff. I just want you to see it as I pour it in. Isn't that a pretty color? I'm using it for two recipes today. So I made a lot. So here goes that veggie stock. I'm gonna stir it up and get it to a simmer. And it's gonna simmer for five or six minutes. So while it simmers, I'm gonna go do my toast for the, um, for the soup. So I will see you all in just a few minutes. Simmer. Okay, so you can see that my soup is now to a nice, lovely simmer, and I've got my bread done. And so, y'all, if you are just doing this, this soup serves about six, if you make a nice size bowl. If you're just doing six um, pieces of toast, don't put it in, don't get your oven hot, or if you have a toaster oven, you can use that. But also, if you just have a plain old toaster, just slice your bread. This is a whole wheat, kind of a rustic loaf. And I slice the bread, I toasted it and when it came out, I sprayed it with a little olive oil. You could also use a, a silicone basting brush and do that um, and brush it on. And then I just salted and peppered it. So my toasts are done. Now what I wanna do to my soup to kind of finish it off is I have a clamshell here and that's what they call these plastic containers of super greens. And you can use any kind of power greens, it's spinach and tatsoi and baby kale and things like that. I'm gonna use about a half of one of the packages of super greens. I can use the rest in my salad. And I'm just gonna stir those greens right into my beans. And so that's gonna be beans and greens. And you know, we, um, we could have also used dandelion greens which um, is very traditional in Provence. So yum, oh, they're all kind of wilting down and I don't have to cook it long now because 
My soup is already done. The veggie stock is kind of incorporated with all that wonderful spice. Now, the last thing I want to do before I serve this up is taste my soup. Oh my gosh, it's so good y'all. And it's got that little pop, but not hot, from the peppers and it's got that herb de Provence, so it's very herby. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this clear bowl so you can see it. And this makes about six cups and six generous servings. And it also freezes great, but if I freeze it, I don't put the greens in until right before. And I'll tell you what I love to do to finish this soup off. Look how pretty that is. What I love to do to finish the soup off is, of course, put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of it. And that Parmesan, as it sits around, just kind of gets yummy and soft. And then I'm gonna top it with a toast. And there is the Provencal greens and beans soup. So fast, so easy, less than 30 minutes, soup for the table.